I want to talk about something that is very important. You know, for those of you that want to write the UTME exams, as it's called the JAM, that's probably no, known as the JAM, I want to give you the most repeated topics that the, the likely set or the likely bring their questions from, so that you'll be able to know how to pass your exam, study those particular topics, and come out in flying colors. Now, the subject I want to talk about is chemistry. Chemistry. You know, in chemistry, I, I, I made an introduction to you that is a science. So you need to basically know everything about the topics that these people will set their questions from. Number one, you need to be conversant of the introduction to chemistry. Introduction to chemistry. In that introduction, you take note of corrosion, most especially. Pollution, corrosion, most especially. How to prevent corrosion, alloying, you know, um, the cathodic protections, and so on. Now, in that corrosion, take note of aluminum alloy. You know, when aluminum is added to other substances to increase its quality in order to prevent corrosion. Okay? And, and I know that I told you that in the introduction to chemistry, and I told you that the aluminum is being used to prevent corrosion because it creates a red oxide that is resistant to corrosion. Now, the second you take note is separation techniques. You know, you take note of the 15 separation techniques and, the, and, and what they are used in separating. The mixtures that these separation techniques are basically used to separate. Take note of the 15 separation techniques. The next are the states of matter. You know, we, we have the three most, um, most classical states of matter, which are the solid, liquid, and gas. But adding another, which is the plasma, makes it the physical states of matter. You take note of the nine states of matter. Okay? You take note of the solid, how their characteristics, their changes, what the type of state they are, the phase of change, the experience. You take note of the liquid, you take note of the gas, you take note of the plasma, you take note of the Bose-Einstein condensate, you take note of the superfluid, the superconductors, the photonic molecules. Take note of these nine states of matter. Study them very well and you'll come out in flying colors when you see this. The next one is the kinetic theory of matter and the kinetic theory of gases. You know, the kinetic theory of matter talks about the movement of the particles of matter, okay? As it states that because, they, they, because the particles of matter have enough kinetic energy or they possess kinetic energy, they are constantly in motion. Take note of their movement in solid, take note of their movement in liquid, and take note of their movement in gases. Now, in the gases, take note of the kinetic theory of gases, okay? The collusion of gases how they hit their walls and come back because they have the highest kinetic energy and they escape vigorously. Next, you take note of the atom most familiar in the equation. Put especially the atom, the particles of atom, which are the proton, neutron, and electrons, their charges, what and what they undergo, the electron capture, the electron cloud under these atoms. You take note of the molecules. You take note of the ions. Take note of the ions. You, take, you, 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 you should know the scientists that provided these particular things, these particular uh, particles of matter. The atoms, I will know, is John Dalton. The molecules is James Chadwick. And the ions is Michael Faraday. Take note of these three things I mentioned. Then you take note of the atomic structure, okay, the orbitals, how the, the, the electrons have been configured, the elements and their configurations, the orbitals, the S, the D, the P, and so on. Take note of these particular things. Then you take note of the shapes of molecules, the shapes of molecules, you know, the pyramidal, the linear, the angular bent, etc. Take note of these shapes of molecules. Then you take note of the element compound and mixtures, the elements. Who, who was the first to talk about the element? Robert Boyle. The compound, you take note of the types of compound and their chemical combinations. You take note of the types of compound. Take note of types of reaction. Every reaction leads to a particular compound. Okay? The type of reaction tells you the type of compound. 
And the type of compound tells you the type of bonding. So you should take note of chemical bondings. How they bond together to form this compound. How they combine to form a new substance that is irreversible. Okay? You take note of the mixtures. Take note of mixtures. The type of mixtures, under the types of mixtures, you get solutions. You take note of the, type of uh, the, the, the types of solutions, how the saturated and the unsaturated, the homogeneous mixtures and the heterogeneous mixtures, how they relate, how the types of mixtures relate to the types of uh, solutions. Take note of that. Take note of that. Then you take note of the rates of chemical reactions, like I said, and the energy changes. You take note of the enthalpy and the entropy. You take note of the thermodynamic systems. Take note of thermodynamic systems, the flow of heat, okay, the flow of the, the increase in temperature. Remember, when there's an increase in pressure, there's an increase in heat, and there's an increase in temperature, okay. You take note of these things. Take note of these things. Take note of the the the, the en exothermic and the endothermic processes. When you talk about the heat content of a system, which is the enthalpy, you take note of metals and their compounds, like I said, alloying, metallurgy. Take note of that metallurgy, metallurgy. You know, when, el when elements have been extracted, when metals have been extracted from their ores and modified for use. Take note of the uses of metals. What, what, what are they used for? Take note of their physical characteristics and their chemical characteristics. You take note of non-metals too physical and chemical characteristics. You take note of the acid bases and salt, okay? The acid bases and salt, you take note of their definitions. Take note of their physical and their chemical properties. Take note of the, the, the different definitions of acid and bases, according to Arrhenius, according to Brusted Lorry, and according to G.N. Lewis. You take note of the periodic table, the elements in the periodic table. Take note of their chemical symbols of their chemical symbols, you put your mind in the chemical symbol, you take note of some Latin words. You know, most elements, according to Benzelius, are not being uh, represented by their English names. They are being represented by their Latin names. So you take note of those Latin names. Take note of those Latin names. For example, let's, let's take, for example, coprum. Coprum is copper. Okay? Erum is... Um, is gold, agrum is, uh, is, is silver, ferrum is iron, natrum, natrum is sodium. You just take note of, this, their, their, of these uh, Latin names. Take note of their Latin names. Then you take note of the oxidation and reduction processes, how to balance oxidation reactions, how to balance chemical equations. Okay, how to balance chemical equations. Heat on empirical formulas, percentage mass, molar mass. Okay? Take note of how to solve them. Take note on how to solve them. Formula masses, molecular formulas. Okay? Take note of chemical names of compounds and how to bring out their formulas from those compounds. Then take note of formulas and how to bring out their names from this compound. Check the rules that is being used in formulating compounds and in getting their chemical uh, 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 formulas, you get in their molecular formulas. You take note of electrolysis, the Faraday's law of electrolysis. Take note of the Faraday's law of, ele uh, of electrolysis, according to Michael Faraday and according to Sarah Bernard. You take note of organic chemistry, that is the most important, organic chemistry. Carbohydrates, proteins, fat and oil, crude oil, and hydrocarbons. These are the five branches of, of organic chemistry. Take note of these five things. Take note of carbohydrates, Take note of glucose. Take note of their switching, okay, fermentations, decompositions of carbohydrates. Take note of how they switch from, from, from glucose to galactose. Take note of the classes of carbohydrates. Classes of carbohydrates, the monosaccharides, the disaccharides, the polysaccharides, and the oligosaccharides. Take note of the boys of, of, of gas laws. Gas laws. Graham's law of diffusion. Dalton's law of partial pressure. You take note of, uh, of, of the Boyce law, the Charles law, the ID gas equation, the Avogadro's constant. Take note of these laws. Take note of these laws. Lastly, take note of the laws of chemical combinations. 
lots of chemicals. You know, when, when, uh, when, when compounds are being formed, there is a law that binds the formation of these compounds. They are called the laws of chemical combinations. How, how substances are combined to form a new substance. Okay? Law of multiple proportion, law of definite proportion, law of reciprocal proportion, and the law of the conservation of mass. Take note of the people, of the scientists that profounded these laws. Whose, whose scientists profounded these laws? Take note of those people and put your mind in these um, guidelines I've given to you, in these most repeated topics I gave to you, and you will come out in flying colors.